My name is Boogie Bentley, back with another Transfer Portal video. Every time I drop a video, you guys say, Boogie, where's the defense? We need linebackers. We need defensive backs. Where is the defense? Well, a former four-star linebacker from Nashville, Tennessee, has entered his name into the Transfer Portal. We'll look at the connections to Tennessee. We'll take a look at the scouting report and just why he is leaving Nebraska. But as always, do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that like button just below the video. If you would so kindly press that thumbs up. If you like what we do here, it helps the channel. It, it plays the algorithm. It sends the video out to more Tennessee fans. Also, if you're new to the Talking Falls Network, welcome. We're not experts. We're not insiders. We are fans just like you. So if you enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out when we go live or when we drop new content. We will be live tonight, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, breaking down the Music City Bowl. Also, Indie Kid will be live tomorrow night immediately following the basketball game. And then Thursday, it is game time. It is the Music City Bowl. We're going to do a fan call-in show about an hour before kickoff. Let you guys come on and talk about the game. And then also, we will be live immediately following the game. So I hope you'll tune in and join us for all of that. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is an article from Nebraska's Rivals.com site. It says, Reserve Nebraska Linebacker. Jackson Hanna enters transfer portal. Now, we all know that Tennessee needs help at the linebacker position. And as always, the first question we ask with the transfer portal is why? Why is Jackson Hanna leaving Nebraska? The only thing I could find out is that maybe it is playing time. Maybe he can't find his way onto the field. Could he do that at Tennessee? Quite possibly. We need help. We need depth. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, when you take a look at his bio, who who is Jackson Hanna, you look at the Nebraska website, it says Nebraska signed one of the top linebackers in the Southeast in Hanna, a Nashville native. Uh, he starred for Montgomery Bell Academy and was the Huskers' first scholarship recruit from the Tennessee high school ranks since Barry Turner in 2005. It says Hanna helped Montgomery Bell Academy to three trips to the Division II AAA state championship game, totaled 157 tackles in his prep career with 32.5 tackles for loss, 13 sacks, six fumble recoveries, and three forced fumbles. Uh, says he had 66 tackles, six, uh, 16 tackles for loss, six sacks as a senior when he was named to the Tennessee Football Coaches Association All-State team. Uh, he also played a little bit of running back. Uh, says he was rated as a four-star recruit, according to Rivals, the number 18 inside linebacker in the nation. He only took a visit to Nebraska, but also held offers from other Power 5 programs, including Alabama, Florida, LSU, Oregon, and Wisconsin, amen, um, uh, amongst others. So the question is, why did he not get an offer from Tennessee? Nashville kid, in-state kid, right down the road from Neyland Stadium. Uh, the only thing I know to tell you is Jeremy Pruitt. That, that's all I know to tell you. Why didn't Jeremy Pruitt offer him? I do not know. But he did not get an offer from Tennessee. But one thing that I do like when you look at who he is as a person, because is he a troublemaker? Is that why he's leaving Nebraska? Because off field issues or locker room cancer? What is the reason? Honors and awards for Jackson Hanna 2020 Tom Osborne citizenship team, 
2020 Brooke Berenger citizenship team. Now, what that means is uh, somebody that is active in the community, somebody that regularly volunteers. Sounds like somebody that would fit in well with the culture that Josh Heupel is building in Knoxville. Also, he was a 2021 Nebraska Scholar Athlete Honor Roll. So again, everything seems like Jackson Hanna is a good kid. Maybe this is nothing more than playing time. But we go on to take a look at the article here. Uh, very short, it says Nebraska linebacker Jackson Hanna has entered his name into the NCAA transfer portal. Uh, says the Tennessee native saw 78 snaps on special teams over 12 games in 2021, and he also played five snaps at linebacker versus Fordham, according to PWF. Uh, Hanna redshirted in 2019 and did not see a snap of action during the shortened 2020 COVID season. He will still have three seasons of eligibility remaining. The former four-star was regarded as one of the top linebackers in the entire Southeast back in high school, but things never seemed to click for him during his time at Nebraska. And that's the thing. Yeah, we can talk about being a rival's four-star. We can get starry eyes. We can be star gazers. That doesn't always translate onto the field in college. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see if Tennessee offers. You do the you do the 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 old Twitter stalking. You go look at his Twitter account. He did just recently follow Mike Eckler, and Mike Eckler followed him back. Now, does that mean anything? Not necessarily. Not seeing a whole lot of buzz out there regarding Jackson Hanna, where he will go, but we continue to talk about this coaching staff and, and being selective in the transfer portal. They're not just rushing to grab anybody that they can get their hands on. Look at Gerald Mincy. Guy, guy goes to Twitter, says he's a 1,000% committed to Tennessee. This coaching staff had not even offered him at that point. But the reason I dropped this video, because he is an in-state kid. He's from Nashville. Does he want to get back closer to home? The fact that he followed Mike Eckler, is there some communication going on there? Is the staff evaluating his tape, which you don't have a whole lot to go for, uh, to go by, other than special teams play while he's been at Nebraska, but when you look at his scouting report coming out of high school, and again, take it for what it's worth, uh, this is from Alan Treu, a national recruiting analyst for 24-7 Sports, projected him coming out of high school as a Power 5 starter. Uh, said he had a longer frame with room to fill in more, which that's the interesting thing. Uh, he is 6'3", 220 pounds. That's what he was also coming out of high school. So did he lean up a little bit? Uh, but it says he has not tapped out as far as growth potential. Versatile prospect who has played in space but also come down and rush the passer, shows good ability in pursuit, also ran track so he can get sideline to sideline, which is something this Tennessee defense needs. They need speed at the linebacker position. Says he's a fluid athlete, plays with good leverage, and used that to drive blockers back, but can still get stronger and improve technique in shedding blocks. Can project to more than one position. Says he's very versatile, but 3-4 outside backer is one of his best fits, or Sam backer in a 4-3. Smarts and versatility will get him on the field at the power five level. So again, football IQ seems to be there. Uh, good good work ethic, good off the field, no no trouble, no, no, no locker room cancer. Could Tennessee look to add some depth at linebacker? I mentioned it the other day in a transfer portal video that through the rumor mill, uh, it's starting to swirl around that Jawan Mitchell's coming back. And you can say what you want about Jawan Mitchell. He never got off the ground at Tennessee. He never really got an opportunity coming in during the summer. I remember as they were interviewing him, he talked about really trying to mesh and gel and fit in with this team before he really got going. And then right out of the gate, he gets hurt out for the year. Unfortunate, very unfortunate for Jawan Mitchell. I'm excited if, if the rumors are true and he is going to come back and not transfer out because I would like to see Juwan Mitchell get an opportunity. And again, Tennessee needs help at the linebacker position. So do they take a look at Jackson Hanna? Does Juwan Mitchell come back? Hit that comment section. Let me know your thoughts on Jackson Hanna. You know, what, what do you think? Former four-star coming out of high school, but struggles to get on the field. Although he did get some special teams play. Does he want to come back closer to home? Is there a reason he follows Mike Eckler on Twitter, hit that comment section and let me know. If you have not done so yet, please smash that thumbs up on the way out the door. Also, don't forget to join us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Talking Vols live, going to be breaking down that Music City Bowl. Uh, but also, you can check out the official merchandise of the Talking Vols Network. Just go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Vols. Any and all support, greatly appreciated. 
Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for this one. Like I said, hit that comment section. Hit that thumbs up. Join us tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange. The songs howl like green. Poets at an archain. Soaking moon that falls. Unbroken past this inundated orb. That we draw home. And it's night and I'm alone and I'm alive.